first and foremost, giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Mosai. Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Akadash. Talk about honor to the apostles and the elders that do rule like great millstone. Peace and salutation to the sincere brethren out there pushing this gospel and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the humble and sincere sister out there as well. Okay, this lesson will be entitled, quote unquote, to the wit runners. You understand? And uh, yeah. Come up with this this title really they they the they the men that does you know be beta towards women you know because society place women on a pedestal to where men are to serve them you understand you are to serve them you are to seek their best interest first put them before yourself in everything you do right their happiness their them being comfortable them being protected right is the only thing that is your main priority, you understand? That nothing really else matters but these women. You know, I was even I was watching a video, um, in it was in the gym, and you know this this female when she take off she she jersey or whatever, and she was flexing in the mirror, and one of the fellas behind she end up glancing she, and then she started to get her attitude. And I was like, you know, do you need something? Do you need something? And um, and um. You know, he woke up and, you know, he asking, she said, excuse me, I mean, if I need something. And she said, yeah, like, keep it walking. You know, there's this entitled spirit that these women has be pushing. That, you know, them is the center of attraction. Them is the goal. You understand? Them is the trophy. And that you need to give your life to them and to prove that, you know, when men can get married and even in these Disney shows and things, they show you what a man had a good on one knee. You understand? So he had to submit, he had to go in that, that submissive position and bow down to this woman asking she, pleading really with she to be his wife. You understand? When the scriptures show we that men, you understand? We are the ones that, that we are the high value men, you understand? As, as um, the deceased fellow Kevin Samuels used to preach, you understand? Men is the ones that really had a high value, have high value. You understand? Not not really these women and hey, precepts you bring out, you show that if a hey, true history, this has always been the case for some reason. Men is going all the wits for these women. Take a start with off Agba. Shine first Ezra's chapter four verse eighteen. Take first Ezra's four verse eighteen. He say yea, and if men have gathered together gold and silver or any other godly thing. Do they not love a woman which is comely in favor and beauty? He say, and letting and letting all those things go. Right. So okay, okay, right. So it say, um, a man gathering gold and silver. Right. So today that will be you working. Right. They say, do they not love a woman which is comely in favor and beauty, and letting all those things go? So men does do what? Give women they pay. You understand? All the money you make, it'll just be spent. On this woman, not even on yourself. So you could be looking like a vagrant, you understand? You are no shoes, you are no clothes, but you're gonna spend it on this woman. Right? So you know, you could go ahead, about sure. Alright, verse 19, he say, And letting all those things go, do they not gape and even with an open mouth fix their eyes fast on her? And have not all men more desire unto her than unto silver or gold? Or any, or any godly things whatsoever, and a man leave it his father, that brought him up, and his own country, and cleave unto his wife. Right, and it is precept before that we say men desire women more than silver or gold, right? More than money. I remember a time with this Jake I know. The man didn't buy a gift for he, he girlfriend or his wife or whatever for she birthday or something. This man take all he traveling money where he had to take to come to work and buy a gift and miss how much days I work almost get fired. You understand? So hey, you you rather take give your woman all that money that you needed to travel to work, right? So she was more important than your job. You could have lose out on your work just to pass a smile on she face cause she may be again at me, maybe didn't have the funds. And you see she start counting on say, say nah boy, you understand, you, you can't go through that, that hurting you too much, you take your traveling money to make this woman happy, you understand, and you had to stay home from work, 
for much days. Is it as I I do it on that mercy the man maybe get to keep you up because he was gonna get fired. You know, after he missed three days. Yeah, three man. consecutive days, yeah, abandon his job, yeah, get fired. Right? So I could go ahead, I go look at shot. Right, he was twenty one. He said he's he's the kid not to spend his life with his with, with his wife and remember it neither father nor mother nor country. By this all three must know that the woman have dominion over you. Do he not labor and toil and and give and bring all to the woman? He say, Yeah, a man take it his sword and go it his way to rob and to steal and to sail upon the seas and upon rivers and look upon a lion and go it in darkness and when he had stolen spoils and rob he bring it to his love. Right, so hey these men they understand men on our on our whole they understand will sacrifice their life in pursuit of bringing this woman happiness they would leave father and mother the ones that you know nurture them go them up they'll forsake them forsake country forsake family all for this woman right and that scripture say by this also you must know that women have dominion over you because is it true right say that in genesis a man will leave father and mother and cleave unto his wife and there will be one flesh so is it true it say you know do you not labor and toil men let go out and work like, so real hard you understand day in day out take shit from from these other nations you understand from the boss from the other co-workers supervisor and go through all this hell just so what so they could provi- provide for their wife and you know their family as well and these women would not make that same sacrifice that men make no woman again go and sail no seas and, and fight and, and, and all these things for no women. You understand? For no uh, men. You know, and, and that I to show you men, you give you con you give your life. You understand? Because I remember I was watching this thing and there's a couple and they're asking them like hey, if, if you'll give your life for the person or The men saying, Yeah, I will gladly die for the wife. And the woman not giving the same answer. You understand? They're not willing to dead. And they give up their life for their for their um, husband. You know, and it's say here too, you know, a man take it his sword and go it his way to rub and steal. Men will go and rub and kill. You understand? All so that they could take care of the wife. They know they put themselves in danger. They could go to jail. You understand? You can get killed. But you're doing it why? Because you know you love you love your woman. Right? Even as that series Vikings. That what that were, that were Vikings was about in you know, it. They used to um Go on raids, you understand? And you know, in the show, they show it had men and women fighting, but in true, true history, it wasn't so. Women and children would stay home. The women tend, would tend to the, the, the fields, the farms, and all these things. And the men would go out and raid each other and take whatever spoils they get. They would then would bring it home to the wife, you understand, and that to the children. So then we'll go out, they will go out and fight and die. Even when you watch the movie 300, it, no woman went out. Where were the women? Home safe. You understand? Home safe. And where Leonidas and the Spartans went, they went out to fight for whom? You understand? They went to fight for the people, for the nation. And which is the women and the children? Is the men, is men that fight wars. Women don't mm-hmm. fight no wars. Is men that go out and die to protect the family, to protect the people they love. You understand? So go ahead and go ahead and yeah, verse 25. verse 25. He say, verse 25, 1st Israel 4, 25, he say, Wherefore a man loveth his wife better than father or mother, yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. Yeah. Say, many also have perished, have erred and sinned for women. A great example is King Solomon. Because the wisdom that was bestowed to King Solomon was nothing like ever before. You understand? The wisdom that he received, he received a kingdom, right? He was a rightful heir to the throne, you know? For his father David, he received it. And all the wisdom he has, the most helpful wisdom, he gave wisdom. It had no war in Israel. You understand? In David's time, it had wars. In Solomon's time, it had no wars. It had peace, right? He had how much 500 wives and um 400 concubines or something like that right all he had everything he could possibly want 
And it was given to him by who? The Mosai. And what Solomon ended up doing? He ended up running after these women. And what is and it's not it's not the women themselves that cause him to fall. It's the things that these women led him to do. That's why I say many have also perished and erred and sinned for women. Because he so love, he so admire that you went to go and worship their gods to maybe please them. Right? Because them are their gods and they may be saying, you know, I want you to worship my gods too. And he get enticed. And then and the lead too. And our next perfect example is with Adam and Eve. The Mosai place his laws into Adam. You understand? And them laws, Adam knew the Mosai knew Yahweh, he knew that the laws that was um given to him to, to establish righteousness. The laws was told to Eve too. And then the serpent used Eve. Why? Because she was the weaker vessel. And what Adam do? Adam Adam get it beguiled, he get deceived. You understand? Why did he get deceived? Because he, he, he gained ties. You understand? He so loved this woman. He chose to go against the Heavenly Father in pursuit of what she happiness in, in pursuit, you know? Hey, she come in with this knowledge, you know? Amen. Jump on the boat too. And, lead, and that lead to all your death. You understand? Mm -hmm. Next example, mm -hmm. you know, with, with, with Samson too. If I could get yeah. a quick precept in, um, in Ma Micah 7 5. Micah 7 verse 5. He said, Trust he not in a friend. Put he not put he not confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that light in thy bosom. Mm -hmm. You know, because what's, where, what's Samson do? Mm -hmm. He reveal his secrets. Mm -hmm. Right? He aired it. Right? And guess what? Cause he destruction. Mm -hmm. Right, so keep the mouth, keep the doors of your mouth shut from these these women. Right? So we're not reading, you know, many have sinned and error for women. Mm -hmm. And become servant. Because what she wanted to do, she wanted to bong him. Mm -hmm. She wanted to bong him. Right? As a you know, as an ordinary man. You know, he show she he show she his secrets. How you go do that? You know, like what these women as one too. They be they be pushing you to tell you. To, for them, for you to tell them your secrets, you understand? Tell you the most, the mo tell them about the most hidden things in your life, and by them doing that, majority of the time they just always use it against you. You know, you know I think that was scripture to a woman God to God abroad. Yeah. That is always happening. You, you, you tell these women your secrets, and then they use it against you. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Use it uh, to, to hurt you now, boy. To, sub, to subdue you. That's why the scriptures, scriptures say, that why it's to take heed. Because yeah, the so called white man is your enemy, you know, but don't feel that the, the Israelite woman is not your enemy right now. Because them done running after Satan, you know, and them done already watching you like the enemy. Because them ain't here nothing about use head out no household and use the, the, the top, you know, use the hedge in the household and use the man. Them ain't wanna hear that. Them watching you as if hey, you inferior. They don't even watch you like you're equal anymore. They watch you like you inferior to them. You understand? Them over you. You can't tell them what to do. And you know, Esau do it too. Esau allow women to enter into the workforce. So that now, it have no breadwinner. Right? It have no pro one provider, one protector. Esau allow them to come into the workforce. So now they can tell you what? You uh, you don't give me no no money, or I working for my own money, so I could do whatever I please. You understand? Mm -hmm. It don't it have no more where hey, I is the breadwinner, so I is the one calling the shots. You understand? To them, hey, I making my own money. I could go to school. I could survive on my own strength. I don't need a man. I I independent. It's always niggas talking about that. I are independent woman. It's always them. It's always see Jake Jake woman talking about. That. But being independent and you know I could do this by myself and all these things. Yeah, that's Sirach twenty five twenty five. Um Sirach chapter twenty five verse twenty-five. Let's see start at verse twenty four. It says of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Give the water no passage, neither wicked woman liberty to God abroad. Mm. Yeah, you know so 
you telling them your secrets that is you causing you know shame to, to fall on yourself because they they're not gonna stay silent they got you gain them things to guard about they gain them they gain them weapon which they use against you so you tell them something your confidence and then it have a, a, a argument or something and they use that against you you understand and i feel that i feel for them and that all these women must think you know if you go back to the um the food says just chapter 4 i think it's about verse 25 No, it's um, 28. 28, yeah. 1st verse 4, 28. He say, And now, do ye not believe me? Is not the king great in his power? Do not all regions fear to touch him? Yet did I see him and appeal the king's concubine, the daughters of the admirable Batacus, sitting at the right hand of the king and taking the crown from the king's head and set it, it upon her own head she also struck the king with her left hand right and hey they not story making up you understand he, he recording something that he saw and they see the king right a man that is feared by all the regions he concubine it here bellas you understand and take the crown and laughing at him on the right hand side, making mockery of him. And he's not doing anything. You understand? A king a, 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 a king a ruler of many regions. Getting ridiculed. You understand? In front of everybody and his is war is a cool scene. And there's a scriptures talking about the dominion men does their women have over them. And, uh, we now read the you know in Sirach twenty five, give the water no passage yeah. neither woman liberty. Right, because she laughed, you know, she laughed at that when they read mm. verse 31. Yeah, he the right, he said, And yet, for all this, the king gaped and gazed upon her with open mouth. If she laughed upon him, he laughed also. And this is what men does do men doesn't pull up the socks, you know, mm. men does lead them and they smile at that and laugh at that. And that going and be free destruction because they were getting so deep mm. that it's uncontrollable now. That the can't do nothing. It's hard to, it hard to <laughs> get into them because of the water. They let the water run too much. So to come out of that now, it's difficult. It's hard. Mm-hmm. Right? You see, um, but if she took any dis- dis- displeasure at him, the king was fain to flatter that she might be reconciled to him again. He say, oh, he men, how can it be? But women should be strong, seeing they do this. Can so he- it say if if she took any display so when she laugh, he laugh. When she happy, she, he happy. When she countenance fall now, he countenance fall too. And he can do everything in his power to flatter she. So that you know she could love him again or you know, had a relationship with him again, you know? Running out your wits. Doing the most and for for these women. And that's why I say, Oh you men, how can it be but women should be strong saying they do thus? That did that is craft in the these women because you know you go say these women weak, these women thing. But what were what were they doing? You understand? Watch how they had men that supposed to be on top. Watch how they are weak. Scripture say what well, children are the oppressors and women rule over them. You understand? And you know you know what caused all that growing up in a household with old fathers. You understand? Growing up amongst women. Again, like having your mother alone is what does cause that because you can't grow up effeminate. Again, constantly pampered by a mother is what is create effeminate men. These women does boast about being single mothers and you know, the single mothers and the fathers was never the you know, black black men always walking with the picture and the fathers and the mothers always the but look at what they created. They created monsters, it's criminals, it's homosexuals, it's, it's, it's just monsters. They create, they didn't create nothing good because it had no hedge in the household. Yeah, we are quick precept mm-hmm. again. They Sirach 3, verse 9. Mm-hmm. You say, For the blessing of the father mm-hmm. establisheth the houses of children, but the curse of the mother rooted out foundation. 
you know, and say, you know, the Lord, you know, he create, you know, a man to be the head. Because if you, if you, throw, if you, if you really check it out, a woman and a man not equal, you know. They're not equal, right? The, the, they do have no similarity, like, like we were saying with the weights. A woman yeah. can lift about what? The deadlift. If you watch the deadlift records for men and women, mm. uh, the woman, I think the woman is about either 300 and something pounds. And she, the world record she set was maybe about 600 and, and something pounds. And it have men that weigh in only 130, right? Because she's three some. It have men weighing 130 and their records is greater than she own. And even t- on top of that, the world record for um for men's deadlift is about a thousand a hundred and something pounds. Twice I wish she could lift. Right, so it's it's lighter than she too. Yeah, so as you can say where there is no hedge, the mm-hmm. other position go be spoiled. Cause a woman, you know, is she motion. They don't think mm-hmm. logic like 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 men. You know, because she go deal with that situation chaos. Yeah. Then how a man go deal with it peaceful. You know, she going and deal with it totally opposite to how we going and deal. You know, so I say, you know, by these women, you know, growing up, by these children growing up with women alone, they, they're going to create monsters. They're going to be emotional and that's why a whole set of them, you know, you mash the foot, you know, you're walking, you watch them hard. They're emotional, they want to shoot you, they want to, they want to fight with you, they ain't like how you watch them and all kind of thing. Emotional. Mm-hmm. You know, that's when it had no hedge. It was a righteous man, you know, because you was talking about when you look up the when you look up head, mm-hmm. what it was saying. Yeah, um, right. The when you go into the definition of the word head, you know, it they tell you a master, lord, and all these things. But one of the key definitions, it say referring to the head of a of humans or of a animal. That you know, if you cut off this head, your whole body would die. Because why? The man supposed to be the head of the household and without the men the whole body would die the whole household would die and that is exactly what happened because it had no righteous men to lead these families what you're going on with israel today you understand all we sons is homosexuals and gangbangers and all we daughters is feminists and lesbians and non-binaries and you understand everything is going into chaos because it have no righteous men it had no, no men leading the flock, right? With all that man, the whole, hey, and, and it, it, it's been proven. If you leave a woman to run the household without a man, the children is not going to come out upright because these women don't have the, 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 they don't have that wisdom, yeah, guys, the say tools, you understand? To, to raise children the way they're supposed to be raised. Women had a nurturing spirit, yes. Right? And it's in the it's in the biology. Right? There's the ones that will feed, you know, with breast milk and you know, placenta and they the one nurturing the, the fetus and all them things. They have a nurturing spirit. But without a, a, a captain to navigate, you understand? That nurturing spirit, it will go all wrong. You need you need a man in, in, in your household. You understand? You see long time. What your men was in the ancient world versus now different there's two different kind of men men long time as watching a, a video it say um nine eight eighteen years now starting to be on tiktok and post pictures and look pretty and eighteen years long time was in was in japan was fighting a, a fighting a world war or was in some war some war some battlefield or working hard on some farm is two different characteristics for men right now many feminine they know everybody watching their hair men watching their hair and their face and what look pretty and what we look in being the nicest clothes and look pretty for these women and what we feel they learn all that shit from is their mothers dressing them up and, and, and not teaching them how to they're not teaching them how to be a man in it. what they tell them you know never hit a woman um treat your wife good and you know always always teaching them how to serve a woman Never teaching them how to be a man and let a woman serve them. Man. They're teaching them how you should go about serving a woman and making your wife happy and doing whatever your wife tell you to do. And um, quotes like a, ha- a happy wife 
is a happy life and all all them that garbage that they, they teach they teach and we understand i listen to denzel washington mm. speak you know when they say you know if he's still with his wife you know or you know where do to, to to have a long marriage like this and you know the answer was he does listen to his wife so he sure that you know he, he don't give mm. he dominion on the wife you know she she ruling over he you know so he running out his wits to do what she had to say to keep it to you know to hold long your marriage you know to do them to do them thing you know and, and that is that is hey you know they have it like that how you could lay a weaker vessel to rule over you by something mm-hmm. that they weaker than you how there's many animal kingdom you know it always so about that you watch lions plenty of people just believe lions this is the ones that has run the the tr- um the pride because them just do the hunting but in all rea- in all reality, the lions and the male lions and them must be the, the rulers of the pride. Them is the ones that has go around protecting and I to show is really in men essence to protect the wife and protect the children. Because that is the job of the lion and the lion has go around the territory and protect the territory from other lions, from hyenas, from you know, and protecting the family. And what the woman what the lionesses has do, them must hunt. To get food, right? The sun for the land, for the children, for themselves, and it, 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 it's so, it's so deep. Even some now when you watch videos of lion, I smile get on, and the lion will come and take it, and she cannot do anything about it because he is will always be stronger than she, so he could come and take it, you know. So all them guys watch plenty of videos, and you know the moment like the post of this lion is thing and. Yeah, the sun with this lion spirit and you know them on top of the game and, and over men and all them kind of thing. All that is just propaganda pushed by the so-called white man to keep our women believing that they don't need a man. And the only reason they believe that is because they had the, they had the so-called white man as a helper. But what going on take place when this when the Lord destroy Egypt, right? When it have no more income, no more work. You understand? When when what go and take place at all? Eh, when we have no government, no groceries, no nothing. Who are they going to turn to? The scriptures show we all are going to turn to. You understand? Yeah. All mm. they remember, all they, all they, when all they, when all that fear build up in all the system, all they remember, all they place in our household. You get that out? Yeah. I'll go breathe it. Yeah, yeah. And I say, ah, I'm four and one. If you bring all that. Yeah. Okay, um. Um, Isaiah 32 mm. 10. Free brother. Right. Book of Isaiah, chapter 32, verse 10. Say, Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless woman, for the mm. vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Yeah, all these careless women, and mm. you know, want to be disobedient, you know. He, the independent, you know, they don't need a man, you know, because you know that because of the system, you know, that give power mm-hmm. to them, you know, because when you check it out, you know, these women them they have dominion over men. They're in better positions. They're working for more money than men. You know, so they ain't taking no shit. They ain't taking no shit from no man. They as they see. Mm-hmm. You know, no man can't tell them what to do, what to go, nothing. What to how to dress them doing their own thing because they're working for the, their own money, you know, that pride shit. You know, but the Lord have a plan for that. The Lord going and bring them down low. So the, the scriptures, the Lord had the power to do that. He bring it up and he bring it down. You know? So continue. Verse 11, it said, Tremble ye women that are at ease. Be troubled ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and good sackcloth upon your loins. They shall lament for the teeth. For the yeah, you know that, that is it. Yeah. You know eh? So he's saying, you know, rise up because, you know, the event is going to fail. This, the system is going to fall. Mm-hmm. The economy is going to collapse. And it's going to have no work in Egypt. So when these times come, what do you think they're going to do? They had to go back to the man. They had to cleave back to the man. You know? You can bring out your precept there. Isaiah 4 verse 1. Isaiah 4 verse 1. Chapter 4 verse 1. He said, and in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Dante, see how this the script flip. Normally you had to run out your wits, so normally you had to buy this. 
You gotta buy that at the thing. If you had to take home and out on a date, you gotta carry she the most expensive place. You understand? You gotta make sure she has clothes, shoes. You understand? You gotta con your money to go to serve them. Right? You wanna pay tribute and get them all your money. But it's kept flip here now, it's say what? Say ah yeah. And next thing, you know, all these women that wanna push monogamy. Right? That a man supposed to only have you know one wife and you can't them telling you that you can't have multiple women or you know you can't do this you can't do that but most i say well be fruitful and multiply and if you really check it one man has hundreds and millions of sperm cells but every month a woman only have the ability to produce one egg True. she don't have hundreds and millions of, of eggs so she cannot bring forth a nation by herself but one man could because if i take my hundreds and millions of seed mm -hmm. and put it in five six seven women every day i could bring back a nation by myself Already. with a set of women but she can't do that even if she have a thousand man she can't do it Already. and to show you how it's confusion if i have five women and i impregnate the five of them i know the children is mine mm -hmm. if she a five five man and five of them put a seed in she who is the father you understand <laughs> you would not know you understand so all that is just bring confusion so when you bring that to these women and you show them it's only natural you understand polygamy is a, is a natural thing for a man to have multiple women mm -hmm. they want to read they don't want to receive that when you show them hey, you have prophets with multiple women king king david you know all these men the most I have no problem with it. Talk about that in the law. If you know you desire another a woman, her food and her remain shall you not diminish and all these things. So if the Lord allowing it, these women maybe think that they're better than the most I to tell you that you can't do that. You know, so it's in that day, they will forget about all of that. They will forget about all that monogamy thing. And seven just mean completion. So 10, 15 will just be running to you looking for the men of the Lord and they're telling you what. Well, we will eat our own bread, we will get our own food, we will get our own clothes, you understand? You don't have to do any of that anymore. Just let me be called by your name, and to be called by a man's name is his sex, you understand? That's how you make a woman your wife. So they will be begging you. Yeah, and they're going to be running to the, the righteous men. Yeah. Because the, the men that have, you know, who, who run all the wits, they're going to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. They will be destroyed. Yeah. I just chat about it again. Um, Sixteen. Yeah. Thirty-three. It's not a thirty-three. Second Ezra's chapter sixteen, verse thirty-three. It said, "The virgins shall mourn, having no bridegrooms. The women shall mourn, having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn, having no helpers." In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. Yeah. So these times, these times of people yeah. come in. You know, but the men of the Lord, hey, the Lord see going to make a man more precious than gold. He's going to make mm -hmm. a man as a hiding place, you know, from the shield from, you know, the storm, mm -hmm. the winds, you know, which is a righteous man, you know, a man that fear your abasham, your shy. But these effeminate jakes, these sims, mm. they're going and be put to death. I bring out a uh, Jika Tanka. I, when I show him, he, he believes in monogamy. You know, they believe in Christianity is one man to one woman. So when I bring out this and show him, like, if they say these women husbands go in and die, right? The bridegrooms, men that they are maybe exposed to going to die, they go have a shortage of men. So who will and be with them? You understand? And if it have more women than it have men, some women got had a hard lugs there. Them can't, them can't get, them can't get to marry, right? Them just had to stay by themselves. No, be fruitful and multiply, right? Men was, women was made for men. Marriage is something created by the Mosai. So none like of these women gonna just be without husband. One man gonna have to take five, one might take seven, one might take three. And so it's so it gonna go. And the spirit of these women going to be changed because right now they're in the normal sea, they're in the peace and they're in the safety. The system going, they could get their money from the job, right? And it's crazy how all women would 
submit to the boss, but not to the husband. You understand? Submit to the pastor. Yeah, you, you, you wouldn't submit to the person that actually, you know, have some sort of love and compassion to you. You wouldn't submit to him, but you will submit to the boss that have that don't care, to the pastor that don't care. The boss only wear for your service, the pastor only wear for your money. And you rather submit to them and submit to the system and submit to your husband. But all that, the times you come in, all that gone change. Mm. And when fear in these women eyes, all that would, would be done away with. I why the scripture say, you know, a man, you know, he good up the loins as a man. You know, because, hey, the Lord gave you dominion over them, to rule over them. You know, you see that in Genesis. Mm. You know, and you think, yeah, it, my husband shall rule over thee. Three, chapter three, verse right, Genesis chapter three, verse sixteen, and say unto the woman, he said, I will greatly, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. Yeah, and the husband shall rule over thee. You know, the Lord gave that order. You know, that the head of man, you know, that the head of the woman is the man, and the head of the man is Yahweh Shai, and the head of Yahweh Shai is the Heavenly Father. The Lord gave that order. Right? You know, and if a man, you know, he, if, if a man want to take up he role as a man, mm -hmm. then you ain't fit. You ain't fit to rule. You ain't fit. You is a waste of time. Better we get rid of you weakling. Time. You know, you can see that in um, Timothy, First Timothy, in okay, First Timothy, three, verse um, four, First Timothy three verse four. First Timothy chapter three verse four, one that ruled well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. If a man know how to rule his own house, for if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church? Yes. Of the how we can rule. Mm -hmm. If he can control his wife, if he can rule his wife, how you can rule, rule, a, kingdom? You can rule a kingdom? Can. If you can rule your children <laughs> and your wife, something that's supposed to be below you, because that's the meaning of a woman, yeah. to be subordinate, to be below, underneath a man. So when a man can rule his wife, how you was fit to rule the kingdom, boys? How you gonna rule these nations? How? When you can't run, rule your own household, like your wife could do what she want, talk to you how she want, and you say nothing. You laughing just like the king with, yeah. with, with the shit in my bellas. <laughs> he laughing it too. So when your wife talk to you, instead of you, you know, don't get the water, no passage, you pull up she socks one time, you leave it like slide. Yeah, because if you have a, a program, you understand, there's all the way you want things to run. Right? And I, you as a man, you don't have to conform to no woman. You you is the head. So wherever you say it's supposed to go. So hey, if you set up a program, there's all you want things done. There's all you wanna run things in your household. If them can conform to that, then they could leave. You understand? Them is not the ones with the program. Man. They want to conform to your program. Can, and yeah. if they can't do that, then they could leave. Yeah. And if it's a problem for them to leave, you know, this system is for the women. Yeah. You do your own thing, you understand? You focus yeah. on your program. And let, let she just yeah. do she own thing. If the Lord, the Lord will remove she, the yeah. Lord will remove that burden from you. Can. Yeah, you know, but some of these men, they love that burden. But I say, you know, hey, that king. You know, like that king too. You know, he say could a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes not be burned? Mm. All these things that man will be going through. All that heat that man take into and he will still be remaining that he wanna come out of that. All that heat you gain by and you like that by <laughs> you like all that heat rather than to stand firm. Because mm. scripture says if she don't wanna go according to you, your way. Scripture says we hold no one bondage. Mm. The free to go. <laughs> Walk. <laughs> If you want to go according to me, according to my ways, because you set up our day, you don't want pork in the house. Mm -hmm. We had to keep the Sabbaths. We had to do these things. Right? 
They have to listen to that. Right, they have to listen to that. Right? So they 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 is what a man supposed to do. Set that 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 order. Right? Mm-hmm. I don't know if it was um Apostle Paul or Apostle Peter was talking and he was basically telling them like you know you will see trouble in the flesh. Like a man and a woman will see will see trouble in the flesh. Mm-hmm. And also saying well, hey, if a woman find it good to dwell with you, like if she in, if she not in the truth and if she wanna dwell with you. Then you know I'll allow she too because you never know if you would save in the end she might you know conform to the ways and be saved. Same for a woman who dwelling with an unrighteous man. You see wife, so you obviously you are go by the law and dwell with him. Mm-hmm. And your ways might rub off on he. You understand? You know, if, you know if they live, live like you know if she don't believe in your bash or your shy, but mm-hmm. she know days where you stand for. Yeah. And she will just do it just to please you because you know you is she lord but she ain't really business about that yeah. but she will just do it for you for your sake you know you just keep the sabbath on this day mm-hmm. she will keep the sabbath on that day because of you but that might be in she mining yeah. <laughs> because she might have her own tradition but she mm-hmm. has doing it after you she know that is a blessing gonna be upon she yeah. by establishing by hearkening unto your husband yeah. by so doing might, these things you know, so might open up she mine and she eventually might receive that stuff you know yeah. but these women let me see well, let's go on. If a man, if a man, he make that, if a man, he make that stand, or he try to make that stand, and he, he you know, he, she might, and that one, he had to put his flesh to death, you know, because they were the flesh subjected to sex, vanity, all these things. So if a man studying sex, you know, boy, I had to listen to my wife, you know, because, you know, if I try to set something here, she going to vex with me for days and not talk to me. You know, she might want to go by next man who commit adultery and you ain't what that. So you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna be on your best behavior. You going and be you going and subject her, she, you know, to be on your best behavior because you don't want she go out on the outside to have sex with no other man. You don't want to get she vexed, to get she angry because you know if she get angry, you know, you might get no sex, you know, wherever, wherever, tell her come back to be that servant. Tell her come back to be that slave. Because when you ask a woman where is a good man? She going and describe a slave, you know. Yeah. When you ask a woman, mm. where's a good man, boy? Hear how them just break down that when you ask them that. Where's a good man? You know, where's the only definition of a good man? And what's them going and break down a slave, boy? Mm. A servant. Yeah, you get to put yourself in the center. He had to do this for me. He had to make me happy. Carry me out. You understand? Make sure everything good with me. They never talk about what them had to do, you know. What them would do, you know. Put itself, you know, I is the pinnacle and he had to serve me. You know, son is a is slave is one. All these women as one is some are, are slaves so to, to, to just be with them boy and then. You know, son just, just run all the wits twenty four seven for them now. Boy. And something, you know, as Buddy Brother saying with the sex and next point. Why does call a, a serpent's poison? Is these women's tears, you know, son? Women does catch men with that crying thing. And the scriptures mm-hmm. say, in, I think it's in Second Kings chapter two, you know, to good up your good up your loins and show thyself a man, right? To to be a man, you not move by emotions. The same way the Lord didn't move by by emotions is 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 low. And if you set in something down in your household, just just like what he what we was reading prior in the first address, when the when the king see the um, if she like she countenance fall, he countenance will fall too. And he could do everything in his power, you know, to find favor with she again. When them serpent and them laying with the poison and beginning to cry, you guys are the feet soft one time. You gonna forget everything you are now talking about. All that, all that sternness, that strip, you know, that power you was coming with as a man, all that gonna get done away with. You understand? And you gonna come to them soft and kind, you know, because you will see them crying. You can't, you can't be moving with that spirit. The men of the Lord do have a spirit like that. Mm. If you say something in your house, die wait, die wait is, you understand? Okay. Whether she cry, whether she can accept it, she she have to, and if she don't, they, as we say, she she could leave, you understand? Mm. Simple as that. If you can bring out um, Proverbs 31 verse 3. This is Proverbs 31 verse 3. You say, give not thy strength unto woman, Know thy ways to that which destroyed kings. And you know, as we were saying, 
we were saying before, you know, keep the doors of your mouth shut mm-hmm. from the woman on your bosom. Right, because uh, say Samson, he gave out he gave out his secret. Mm-hmm. And guess what? She destroy him. So you don't give your strength unto women, they will destroy her. That's why scripture says give the water and no passage. Right? You put a stop to that. Uh, say how oh, you wanna set up your household, right? As the head, hey, we're not gonna do this. This is how we're gonna deal with things now. They have to listen. Mm-hmm. They have to listen to you. So if they didn't want to if they didn't want to listen and they want to do their own thing here you now. And she lock you off, she stop talking to you, she ain't cooking for you, she ain't thinking for you. You know? That going and break you down, you know. Mm-hmm. Because you know he, he love your wife. And he going and start to do things, you know, to make back up, to please she. Right? Rather than standing firm, girding up your lawyer, stand mm-hmm. firm. Right? Hey, and something, even when you say get a strength on the woman, what's up like like your phone? These women learn, you know. You have to give them your password. You understand? You have to give them your password. It's not nothing like lock out phone and you have this password and, and thing. So if they want to run through your phone, they could run through your phone. You can't tell them nothing. No, you they will give you their password. You understand? Mm. That one's safe. But it was your password. You understand? It, every they wanna know your every move, you understand? They wanna know wherever you where you're going, who you're talking to. You understand? And that that men has you gotta cut out that because if them is your servant, them is not the master. And you is the master. The servant can't tell the master what to do. The servant has to serve. Mm. You understand? As scripture say, had not the um the potter power over the clay. Yeah. He had power over the clay. Now use the head. As scripture saying in um get full screen chance. Yeah. Mm hmm. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Start at verse 1. Start at verse 7. Right, First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 7. It says, For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of the hour. But the woman is the glory of the man. Yeah, so the woman is the glory of the man. Go ahead. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. Yeah, so we wasn't created for the woman. The woman was created for we. So when a man, you know, he try to set up his household and you know he she want to she didn't want to to do with she anything, hey, it have people to replace you, you know. Mm-hmm. It have people to replace you. Don't feel you're irreplaceable. You could get removed. Mm-hmm. So if a man stand firm like that, you don't want good luck to as a man because what these women never squeeze to power, you know. So if you ain't showing that power, mm-hmm. they will lick you up. So this is what a woman cleave to. Power. Right? But I see, you know, Jake in that low state, we ain't mm-hmm. had that power, we ain't had that wealth, you know, so they feel they could get a liberty over we. But even in your low state, stand firm, mm-hmm. stand strong, good luck your loins as men. That's how the Lord create you to be, to have dominion over them. But the Holy Scripture says too, you know, you, you can't come and serve, if you hate father or mother, you know, husband or wife, you know, brother or sister, you can't come to the Lord because why? Mm-hmm. You will choose them over the most high. When mm-hmm. it really come, don't you? You could, you could pick their, their happiness over the most high, you understand? But if you accept that hey, in this I, truth i go i go end up i might lose my family i might lose friends right i might not be loved the same way as before once you come into that acceptance you would have no problem losing them because they oh. wouldn't matter as much as your about shame i wish i would these women them will these women them will turn you from the love of your about shame i they will turn you they will turn you from that they will they will they will turn you to be enemies mm-hmm. <laughs> with people who you know who was at peace with you who deal peace them will, because them don't like them mm. you mustn't like them mm. right i watch up i watch up but you know he talk about you know uh i smell like you are you are smell like you know you are saying in a way that me and my brother we grew up together in the same house came from the same mother and father we share the same bed you know we eat from the same plate the same spoon mm. but just because his wife don't like him he brother had to do like him too. Mm. And he will hate his brother because his wife do like his brother. He will hate his brother. 
and that is totally wickedness. Mm-hmm. Right? So you don't you don't give them woman that power over you. Stand firm. Yeah. But once you stand firm and I say they want to go according to you, eh? The scripture says we hold no one at ransom, we hold no one at bondage. If you want to listen to me, me are going through that. Mm-hmm. You have to stand firm. If you ain't standing firm, then you're doomed. So you know that whole that spirit where society teach men that you just put your wife on a pinnacle. It is not so, it is it's actually opposite of that. A master don't put his servant on a pinnacle, it's the other way around. And a, a servant does do what? And hey, when these women are servants, they get real hostile, you understand? But we servants are about to show me how too, you understand? Yeah. You will get hostile for that. Nothing wrong with being a servant. But society teach them now that them, is, them, them can be servants, right? Them have to be the masters, them have to be on top, equal to men. But biologically, you know that that is not true. Um, I the show him at that times um like um college footballers and thing they go make them play against the, the female World Cup side and they will beat them, you understand, every single time. Sixteen year olds, fifteen year olds, beating grown women, beating prof- paid professionals, you understand? It's men and women not equal. Look the at that time um this transgender man. A man who turned to a woman, who went to fight a next female fighter, and break she skull, you understand? They completely shatter she skull in a UFC fight, you understand? And next time it had a, um, uh, it had a dispute between um, a UFC fighter, it's two of them is UFC fighters, male and female. But she was higher ranked among the females and he was among the males. He was maybe lower ranked. And he nearly killed she too, you understand? And she was ranked among the highest, highest females. And she explained to them that, you know, police had to end up coming and delivering she from that death, you understand? Because he would have killed she inside it. And he was not no top ranked male. Even I was watching her next, her next thing, um, this woman was talking about how, like, she get raped. And she said she just do self-defense classes and all them things. And she said that the person... The man who raped she he was maybe like five foot one and he was skinny, right? And she maybe was about five, six, you know, and had significantly bigger than him. And he still overpowered she and managed to rape she. So that's showing that men biologically stronger than women. You understand? I, fe- oh. I fe- could have a woman training in the gym for years and a man will come and train for about two, three months and surpass she, right? Women, like, if you watch your muscle fibers, women only have access to about 50-something percent of the muscle fibers and around maybe 60-something percent training. An untrained man has about access, access about 70-something percent and even go up to 90-something percent trained. Mm. So you just be stronger than women, you understand, oh, yeah, all I'm levels. Sure that. Even, I uh, say, you know, a woman not fit to rule. Yeah. Even, even the, these elites and them, these Edomites elites and them, them don't really leave anything for the for the daughter, you know, to mm-hmm. give she did that well, to give she, you know, the power over, you know, all the businesses and things. No. They get the sons, they get the men. Mm-hmm. You know? So them know, you know, that they the head of the woman is them, the man, the men. Right? What do you rule what do you rule as are you? It is not fe- it's not female either, man. Mm-hmm. It is men. And we women know. Would rebel against we, you know, but they're rebelling against that. They're watching and seeing it, it's men ruling the earth. You understand? They go watch that and think nothing of it, but as soon as a, somebody of their nation, you understand, trying to tell them the right way and showing them that a hey, woman meant to be underneath men and men is the head and all these things, they rebel. It makes no sense. You understand? Men, men will, as they, you can bring it out in. I think it's Isaiah chapter 13 verse 12. Yeah. It says Isaiah chapter 13 verse 12. We say, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the gold wages of Ophir. Yeah, the gold. Gold and wage of um, Ophir. Right? Men <laughs> more precious than fine gold, and the sun that they speak for itself. Men, we are the prize. 
right? Yes, the, especially <sighs> men of the Lord, we are the prize. You understand? Mm-hmm. The tabernacle of Yahweh is with men. Read in Revelation um, 21. Mm-hmm. The tabernacle of Yahweh is with men. You understand? And you make a man more precious than fine gold. Seven women shall run to one man, right? Men is the head of the house. And there's nothing. And women are saying when you tell them that you're trying to bring them down and you know it, it's not but it's just order and like animals understand that order you know? right you're watching the animal kingdom all, all them animals understand that order right you have a king you like a lion you never see a lioness fight a lion because he have about five six lioness he just breathe it they just they just a normal thing they understand that he's the protector he's the provider he's the head and we is the ones that you know serving he in the pride. But for some reason hey, we women don't understand that. So men need to stop running out there with four four women because that is just weakness. You understand? The scriptures say give not thy strength unto women. You know, I have anything? Uh no, close up. Come you know, you hope this is very fine. Give no praises and glory unto the Mosai. Hawa Basha Meoshai, Basha Makakadash. Yeah, but honestly, the apostles and the elders that do rule by that great millstone. So peace and salutation to the sincere brethren out there. Shalom to the humble and sincere sister out there as well as the Kayanin. Shalom. Shalom.